Hello and welcome to Environmental Management Lecture Series, a video lecture series on the subject Environmental Management. I am Ronald Alan Pakana, your subject instructor. Today, we will discuss the concept of environmental management. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through our learning journey. For our topic outline, we will begin with what is environmental management. And then we will proceed with environmental management system, the types of environmental management, and the importance of environmental management. We will begin with the question, what is environmental management? Basically, environment is a fundamental and most essential part of our day-to-day -day life. Environment comprises various types of forces such as physical, intellectual, economic, political, cultural, social, moral, and emotional. Lahi itong imot-imot sa gugma ha? Kay basin mga impasta. Without to proceed, environmental management is an attempt to control human impact on an interaction with the environment in order to preserve natural resources for present and future generations. So, what is Environmental Management System? Environmental Management System is simply a collection of activities undertaken to ensure that environmental issues are managed. Lahi itong collection sa baby girls o boys ha? Lahi sad itong issue nga nga i-manage. Anyway, here are the environmental management functions. First, consistently complying with environmental laws. Improving overall environmental performance. Addressing environmental liability from current or past practices. Maximizing investment in environmental affairs. Integration of environmental objectives into overall mission and business objectives. And lastly, providing an environmentally safe workplace. We now proceed to the environmental management framework. So basically, this is the plan, do, check, act cycle. So plan, you need to identify your problems. Do, test potential solutions. Check, study results. And then act, implement the best solution. So buot pasabot, tarungon gyan og plano para mahatagan og insakto nga solusyon. We now turn to the types of environmental management plans. So we have three. We have Construction EM, Operation EM, and Decommissioning. First off is the Construction Phase Environmental Management Plan. So this provides specific environmental guidance for the implementation and construction phase of a project. It is intended to enable the management and mitigation of construction activities so that environmental impacts are avoided or reduced. Information presented in the EMP is typically categorized as follows. So we have identified the specific activity or potential impact that requires management, determine the mitigation measures to be implemented, identify the performance indicator, Identify who would be responsible for implementation and lastly, identify who would be responsible for monitoring. Next is the Operational Phase Environmental Management Plan. So this provides specific guidance related to the operational activities associated with a particular development. The following are specified in the said phase. We have the roles and responsibilities for mitigation, monitoring of progress, and performance assessment for the operational life of the development. And then we have the decommissioning phase environmental management plan. So basically, decommission pertains to remove something such as a ship, 
nuclear power plant or a mining area from service. The commissioning may present positive environmental opportunities associated with the return of the land for alternative use and the cessation of impacts associated with operational activities. The decommissioning phase EMPs are typically encountered within extractive industries such as minerals mining, oil and gas exploration, and extraction. And now, we turn to the importance of environmental management. So first and foremost, it promotes physical, social, and economic environment of the enterprise or project. And then it helps conserve biodiversity, promote sustainable way of living, promote efficient use of natural resources, and promote awareness and education on environmental issues, may it be local, national, and international. And now, here is your activity number one. You are to make a concept map on the concepts of environmental management. You are to submit your answer to our Google Classroom. And then the deadline of such activity will be on or before October 4, 2021. Should you have any questions, you can contact me through the following outlets. This has been Ronald Alan Pakana, and this is Environmental Management Lecture Series.